Hello and welcome to the May 2023 episode of the Monthly Update with the Minogue. Throughout the month of May, we are celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander Month. Today, I sat down with Middleton High School seniors, Ashani Das Ghosh and Celeste Lee, and they told me a little bit more about their role in the Middleton High School Middle Eastern and Asian Student Union. Thank you so much for taking time with me today. I really appreciate it. So Celeste, we're gonna start with you. So a senior, your time here in the district is coming to an end. I wonder if you could share with us what you're planning on doing next next year. Yeah, well, I'm planning on continuing my education as a computer science major at UW-Madison. Hopefully I can concentrate in like artificial intelligence and like the safety and ethics surrounding that. That's what I'm most passionate about. Okay, wonderful, congratulations. How about for you, Ashani? What is your plan for next school year? Uh, next year, I'll be attending Northwestern University and I plan to major in applied math. And um, because I have a passion for engineering and math and science and stuff like that, okay. I'm also hoping to continue research that I've been doing. So I'd love to hear from you, your experiences with MISU and why that organization has been important to you as a student here at MHS. Maybe we can start with you. I've been a part of MISU since I was a sophomore and I got invited to join by my student advisor, uh, Mr. Her. Um, one of the most impactful experiences I had with MISU was interviewing members of our community who identify as uh, Asian American. And so uh, I got to have great conversations with uh, Middleton alumni specifically. Um, and a lot of them happened to be women who shared their experiences about living in Middleton as high schoolers and how they've like branched out all over the nation and now they're doing such great things. I try to bring this uh, sort of advocacy lens to our meetings. So um, Celeste and I and the rest of our uh, members of MISU, we try to promote um, like a sense of belonging and community here um, at Middleton with the rest of the Asian American community. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. How about for you, Celeste? What has MISU meant for you? Well, I only joined my junior year, but before that, I got to participate in this research study that was looking at how Asian students felt um, in the Middleton High School community. Yeah. And then after that, I got to participate in a youth research program where I focused on the history of East Asian stereotypes. And because of that, I got very passionate yes. about all these issues surrounding like Asian Americans and their experiences in mm -hmm. the US. Mm -hmm. So in junior year, I approached MISU. So that's how I sort of got involved in MISU. And then this year I'm an officer and I'm sort of continuing that work. And we're also doing a lot of fundraisers to help different Middle Eastern and Asian um, causes that we find compelling. Okay, perfect. Tell me about a cause that you find compelling. So uh, one of the most um, hyped up fundraisers that we have every year is the Spicy Ramen Challenge. And so last year it was a big hit and we basically raised money the entire uh, school week for um, Uyghur Muslims who are living in Turkey. Um, they've been facing persecution in China where their like original like bases and so they've been fleeing to Europe So we basically raised money for them to help um, get them like essential supplies Spicy ramen challenge that is for folks who don't know what that is. That is where staff members here yes. sign up to participate and they attempt to consume <clears throat> incredibly spicy ramen noodles um, for charity, and it is it is a fan favorite. I've actually been um, to those competitions in the past, and uh, the kids love it, the faculty love it, so it's a, it's a great fundraiser. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I can't tell you how proud we are of you and your accomplishments um, during the course of your time here as a Middleton Cross Plains Area School District student. But to think what you're going to accomplish after you leave us is really inspiring. And so um, thank you. We wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank absolutely. You. We are sitting in the Middleton High School Art Gallery, admiring the outstanding works of art provided by Holly Stoner's Photo 3 class. Uh, the theme for the project was shadows. Students were asked to make an interesting cutout from black construction paper and using harsh light cast a shadow onto their subjects. They used various photography and Photoshop techniques to achieve their final images. How cool! 
It is hard to believe, but this is our last episode for the 2022-23 school year. It has been a big year for MCPASD. We passed an operational referendum that allowed us to maintain our fantastic programs and opportunities for our students. We have welcomed new team members and shared well wishes with our retirees. We celebrated the grand opening of new buildings and much more, but most importantly, we laughed and learned alongside our staff, students, and families. Now, let's check out a few of the exciting things that have been happening in our district. First, I would like to share a few housekeeping items. An updated copy of the 2023-24 school year calendar has been shared with families regarding a slight change to our Professional Development Day schedule. The September Professional Development Day has been corrected to show September 18th, 2023. As a reminder, classes will not be in session for all students on this day. Please save an updated copy of our calendar if you have not done so already. Keep an eye out for the Community Connection Magazine coming early this summer. We listen to feedback from our community and in keeping our promise of being responsible financial stewards, we have opted to make the magazine virtual. We will share a paper mailer with our community that highlights the magazine content, followed by a QR code for you to read the full magazine. This year, our community can look forward to learning more about the success of students and staff programs we were able to continue thanks to the operational referendum, helpful reminders, and more. Did you know that Middleton High School was rated the number one high school in Dane County and second best in the state by niche.com? Congratulations to the students and staff that make MHS such a great place to learn. Shout out to MHS senior John V. Data. She was recently awarded the 2022 Governor's Financial Literacy Award. This award recognizes individuals who elevate Wisconsin residents' financial literacy, capability, and financial inclusion. She created Know Your Dollar, a program that provides free personal finance education to middle schoolers, especially ones in underserved areas. You can learn more about John V. and her amazing project on our district website under the news section. Mr. Cohen's and Mr. Stone's history of the LGBTQ plus movement class at Clark Street has had many awesome opportunities to hear from leaders and champions for equity in our community. They recently met with Madison Mayor Rhodes Conway, who visited the Outreach LGBTQ plus Community Center and met with the CEO of the Wisconsin LGBT Chamber of Commerce. They also chatted with local LGBTQ plus student advocacy group GSAFE. Representative Mark Pocan, who is an openly gay U.S. representative, also stopped by the Clark Street campus to speak with students. Thank you, Mr. Cohen and Mr. Stone, for offering these great opportunities for our students. I would like to thank our MCPASD high school campus students for their hard work and artistic talents at the 2023 Retiree Dinner. The Middleton High School a cappella group Bristol Street performed a phenomenal custom version of the song, Seasons of Love. How do you measure, measure a career? In greetings, in meetings, in field trips, in cups of coffee. Students from Clark Street Community School volunteered their exceptional pieces of art to serve as centerpieces for the tables and decor at the entrance. Thank you to all of our outstanding students for donating their time and talent to make our retirees feel recognized and important. The Glacier Creek Black Student Union recently hit the road. Seventh and eighth grade members had the awesome opportunity to travel to Memphis, Tennessee. During their trip, the team attended several college tours, took in the sites and visited multiple museums, including the Stax Museum of American Soul Music and the Lorraine Motel Civil Rights Museum. What a great opportunity to learn not only about history and culture, but also to scope out potential higher education opportunities for the future. Hooray for the Cromery Middle School Future Problem Solvers team. They recently took home second place at the FPS State Bowl in Green Lake, Wisconsin, and will now be advancing to the international level competition at the University of Massachusetts Amherst in early June. Great job team. We are thrilled to congratulate these five high school students for achieving the prestigious Wisconsin Seal of Biliteracy, which was launched at the start of this academic year. It's an honor to have such accomplished students among us. Students earning a Wisconsin Seal of Biliteracy demonstrate high levels of bilingualism and biliteracy in English and a partner language as demonstrated through DPI approved measures. 
Three students received their seal in Spanish, one in Mandarin Chinese, and the other in Tui and French. All students were recently honored at a Board of Education meeting. Our middle school students are doing their part to make the world a better place. Students from Glacier Creek were featured on Channel 15 News for their work sharing kindness. They used fallen pine cones to write nice messages near their bus stop. Their hope for the messages was just to make someone's day better. The Cromery Middle School Green Team recently won the SSM Health Time for Kids Keys to a Healthy Earth Contest. As their reward, they gifted a maple tree that is now planted on the east side of the building. They were recognized for their great work making Cromery a greener place, including hosting a school-wide waste audit. May is a big month for celebrations. During this month, we also have celebrated Teacher Appreciation Week, School Principal Day, School Nutrition Service Employee Day, and School Nurse Day. Thank you to all of our team members for enriching our community with your compassion, talent, and creativity. The results are in. Mr. Peanuts has been named the runner up, though we think he should have won, for the Sintas Custodian of the Year competition. We recently celebrated his accomplishment at Park Elementary, where he was awarded a cash prize and all expenses paid trip to Las Vegas, where he and the other top three finalists will be honored at an upcoming trade show and free tuition to the ISSA Cleaning Management Institute virtual training event. We are so proud of Mr. Peanuts. We love him so much and the joy he brings to our district. Thank you again to my friends Ashani and Celeste for taking the time to speak with me. Together, our district celebrates and honors the customs and cultures of our American, Asian, and Pacific Islander students and staff. That brings us to the end of this month's episode. I wish you all a wonderful summer break and look forward to welcoming you back for another year of fun next year. Take care.